Now we're back to learning mid-journey. Let me give you a little bit of an update with my experience using sketches. I have to say I'm not that impressed. Let us for example use this one here on Unsplash. I'll just copy the image link. So right click, copy image link. Imagine you have to add at least a single word and then paste the URL, otherwise it won't run. So when you just paste the URL, it's going to give you an error message. Let us use the same prompt again and now I add image weight 2 just so that we have something to compare it to. And we can also use this one. Let's just say you have a sketch, you've done a photograph of it, you've got it on your computer, so I'll download this one. The way to use this is to just import it, so drag it onto Discord like so, and then just press enter in the message box below, and it's going to get uploaded. Now you can use this left click on it, open a browser, then right click and copy image link. Now you can prompt this one, let me just do it, imagine female perspective from behind, realistic, something like this, and I add the URL. Let's get back to our eye first. Here we have image weight standard, so default on top. And here you can see the problem that I've got with it. It totally loses the original, I think. And if you want to tell me now, you just have to prompt it a little bit more in detail. What well, the question is, if I have to prompt it in detail, why should I even use a sketch to begin with? Here's the female from behind. It's a regular image weight. And it got what I wanted, but Perspective is off, we don't see the legs, and in the sketch there was also a code. Didn't really work. Let me show you where I had a little bit of success of using sketches, and this was logo design. So if you simply sketch a logo, prompted logo design, and then add your URL, maybe add the IW, the image weight as parameter, make it 2. Here's the regular one, the default image weight, and it has already lost the original to some degree. Image weight 2 is a little bit better, but it still lost it. I've used a different logo design. Let me scroll up. It should be this one. So here was a little bit closer to this image right here, but yet again, you have to prompt it very specifically to get to get a specific resemblance to your sketch. So for me, this was a total hit and miss. The only use case that I can think of is when you're in logo design or character design, don't have a clear idea of what you want. You can sketch kind of like a general logo or a general outline for your character, a general face structure, whatever and then use this to have Midjourney generate a couple of random results with it and then you have maybe an idea of what you want to pursue further but just uploading an image, uploading a sketch, a photo of your sketch and then expecting Midjourney to give you a fully rendered character or a fully fleshed out logo based on this. For my experience that's not possible at least up to now and the only way to make it somewhat work is to prompt it very much in detail Another problem that I've got with it is that I don't need a sketch if I have to prompt it in detail anyway. Maybe that's just my experience. If you've had different experiences and, and you may have added a parameter that I'm missing, let me know in the comments below. But this is currently my take on using sketches in Midjourney. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.